In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a cut and paste worksheet using Google Slides. Like many of my other resource video tutorials, you'll want to write out or sketch out your ideas for the worksheet using paper first. For this math resource, I'm going to focus on even and odd sums. Let's get started. So we'll start by adding in a new slide. Then we're going to insert a line to go across the page horizontally. Place it about two thirds down the page. Then you can adjust the thickness and color how you like. Next, add in a table. I'm going to insert a two by two table. Then adjust the placement of the table in its height so that the top row can fit the labels of both sections and the bottom row has a much longer open space. Now you can add in labels for your activity. Before typing in both labels, you can change to the font and size of your liking and center the text. Add in a text box for your cutout slips. Insert a text box in the lower section of the page and type in the context or options for your cutout slips. Here, you can just type out what you wrote down in your notes. After adding in the first choice, again, change the font, size, and alignment to what you want. Make sure and do this before you duplicate your text boxes so you only have to change those text features once. Once it's how you like it, select your text box and duplicate it by hitting Command D or Control D on your keyboard. You could also copy and paste it. Once you have your left set, select them all, go to the Arrange tab in the ribbon, click Distribute, then Vertically to make sure they're all aligned. While they're all selected, duplicate the set and move the duplicated version over to the right side of the page. Make sure they're aligned. Next, you can type in all of the different options that you have written in your notes. To finish up the page, you can add in a heading section at the top. Insert a text box for the name and title of the page. Then add in a set of directions right below the title. Bonus. If you want to add any pops of color, select the section that you want colored and go to the Fill Color tab in the ribbon to select the color that you want. Now, stay tuned for part two, where you'll learn how to take this cut and paste worksheet and turn it into a digital drag and drop activity.